Hello Virgo and welcome to your coffee cup reading for the week ahead of November 25th through December 1st. This is a very general reading for the sign of Virgo. I do want to mention, please always check my updates page on my website. I mean, you don't have to, but for um, to know what's going on, meaning sometimes I have specials, uh, the days I'm off, and it can affect private readings. Next Thursday, I will be off and possibly Friday, but that's still up in the air. That's why I'm saying that. And that can affect um, the private readings too. Um, I may also be posting next week's weeklies Wednesday evening. Not sure yet because Friday is still in question. <laughs> I'll know that later. And Friday, with, or it will be posted Friday. But anyway, um, let's get on to your reading. This can be um, an important week for some of you. Okay, I see a lot could be going on. Um, maybe more towards the end of the week, but like I said, timing is different for everyone. And so is this reading. It is a general. There is some changes with home and foundation. It is in, in focus. This can indicate usually something good. There is some changes, movement. Um, maybe you'll just change things around. But there is some energy with the home and foundation. I also see this could be an idea that comes up. Or for some of you, this could be some news coming in. Okay, that's one thing. And it could be something about a child. Um, or it's just news for some. Okay. Now, I do see some of you are going to have to make a decision. Okay, and you may be kind of having a hard time making it. Uh, it's like trust issues. What do I do? Trying to make some kind of logical decision. Um, and this could be for some of you connected to work, money. Um, maybe you're just feeling insecure about something. There's a sense of dealing with, um, self-esteem issues. At the same time, this could be money worries. Um, I also see thinking things through. You could be more to yourself trying to come up with some kind of a decision. You have a seven in reverse here, a seven on top here in between an H. So we are seeing a lot of like re-evaluations because it's in reverse. It could mean that you're also changing your mind. Um, you know, so take it slow, I guess, but um, you're going to have to come up with some kind of choice and decision um, some in some form in your life. I do see some of you, uh, there could be a reunion with people that you haven't seen for a while. Okay, so I'm seeing that too. Some of you are working a lot this week too. Um, you're putting a lot of work into either a project or work. This could be even working overtime. For some of you, could be working something behind the scenes. There's something like kind of hidden. Maybe you're not telling people about. Um, I do see also this is like trying to gather information. There is, let's put it this way. There's either deception around you, uh, liars, uh, something is not as it seems. This can be also that somebody has an eye on you. Maybe this could, for, I mean, it could work out a lot of ways. It could be at work. Maybe it's time for a review. So they're watching you, evaluation. Um, for some of you, this could be at work. They're gathering some kind of information. They're checking your background. There is something like that showing up. Um, again, I would stay out of the gossip. I mean, it could work in different ways, but if it, 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 overall, there is something there that is um, showing up kind of like deceptive. The same time, this could be you. Um, if it isn't something connected to work or anything, I would be very careful to stay out of gossip or to be sneaky about something because it can backfire. Okay, so I'm seeing that energy too. For some of you, it's like best to just let something go and that's going to bring you into smoother waters. I do see some of you taking short trips, um, thoughts of moving. So I do see that some of your um, issues, some problems, maybe that's that's been concerning you will be leaving. I do see, yeah, I would be careful about making any quick decisions this week or what you're going to purge or take out of your life because I see people, situations leaving your life and then you may have some kind of regrets because there is an energy here showing not all is as it seems. Um, you may not have all the information. There is uh, something that's hidden there. So, you know, and then that can create a turn of events. I see high anxiety. For some of you, it could be dealing with authority. 
it's not the best energy, so I would, uh, it's better to keep our lower profile for some of you. Um, for others, this is trying to get something wrong, um, that you want with either authority or, or someone like a boss or something, and it's not the best energy because there is somebody else's opinion here that is in the way. I do see some of you, this can be love with an age difference and a separation or you've been separated. Um, something's showing up here. For others, you know, reevaluate your love life. It's like almost like there's two's company, three's a crowd. There could be like a third person involved or this can also be just people meddling in, not liking your relationship. That is another thing too. And so I'm seeing a lot of this and a lot of changes. For some of you, this is just going internal and trying to figure some things up. For others, you could just feel scattered and it could be just kind of chaotic. And this could be sometimes internally feeling chaotic, okay? It doesn't always mean outside forces are coming at you, you know? So it just depends. Everybody's different. Um, I do see, um, yeah, you may have to still go through a process. This is dealing with... Um, trying to complete something okay it's not the easiest um things are not as easy to get done you for some of you could be just still going through a process in some part in your life i do see negotiations communication coming through this could be talks of money maybe uh you're going to try to get financial help meaning um maybe you overdid on your uh, you have a debt and you're trying to negotiate some kind of payment that's another way i'm seeing this too um, I do see this is also, there could be some critics around too, or you may hear something that you just do not like. Um, new way of thinking is coming through too. Be careful of being too indifferent or a little bit too aloof too. You could appear that way. Okay, so that's one thing I'm seeing as well. But anyway, let's see the plate. Yeah, some of you feel locked up in some situation. It's like it's locked, it's immovable, and it's something that you kind of have to free yourself. For some of you, are you carrying some burdens, okay? And this could be spiritual burdens, uh, belief systems. This could be also about marriage problems. For others, there is a little bit, this is like karmic energy. You reap what you sow. So some of you are dealing with karma for good or for bad. Um, it could be a cross that you have. It's your cross to bear. That's one thing I'm seeing there, too. So there are some um, of those energy. Now, for some of you, this is very, um, it's like your belief system. Maybe some of you will be um, getting some advice, uh, seeing um, a spiritual uh, figure. This could be you know, anything, a priest, whatever um, your belief system is, too. So I do see something like that. Some of you, this could be some kind of talks about marriage or commitment. It could be a little bit uncomfortable, for some of you, you may be rethinking things, thinking about the past, or, <coughs> excuse me, the other person is um, thinking things. There's, there's just a little bit of burden there, or it's just a lot of heavy on your mind. Um, I do see also, this could be dealing with a water sign energy. It looks more like a man. So either it's a partner, or it could be even female, but she's just very strong-willed. Um, so I do see that some of you need some kind of advice, some kind of counseling, um, this could be consulting a therapist, a lawyer, or a doctor, or a mentor, or just a friend, okay? So I do see something like that coming through in, uh, coming through. So some of you will be receiving some good advice, but it is, and it's really good advice. And whether you like it or not, you know, but the thing is, always listen to advice. But ultimately, you have to make your own decisions because that's what you have to live with, and that's what it's your life and if it's wrong it's wrong then it's your life lesson but listen to the advice and then you make your own decision so wisdom is coming through too and making wise choices so basically well um virgo that was your reading for the week ahead of november 25th through december 1st again check my updates page for uh if i'm gonna be off <laughs> friday uh, I, like I said, I may be posting next week's weeklies, Wednesday evening, if not Friday. Either way, I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll catch you back next week for your next Coffee Cup reading. Until then, all the best, and bye for now.